Hey, what's up guys? Chase here. And today we are going to talk about a funnel, the basics of marketing. This is marketing 101. They should be teaching this in college, but they do not. or in high school. So I'm going to walk through how simple it is to get a product or service in front of the right customer at the right time and how to lay out your actual funnel. Okay. Now there are companies out there. We're running some of them that do huge amounts of money just off one simple funnel. Okay, so I'm gonna break it down for you. So a funnel, if I talk to you about a funnel, when I say funnel, a funnel is more or less the process your customers go through to buy your product or service. Okay, so um, it all starts with your message slash ad, okay? So in order for anyone to take action, you need to get your message, your product or service in front of the customers at the right time. How do we do this? So online, you've got Google. People are spending huge amounts of money on Google search. Well, what they're trying to do is get their message in front of their right customer. You got Facebook, you got TikTok, you got YouTube, you got YouTube, sorry. You got YouTube, um, you can do radio, you can do TV. I mean, you name it. You've got all of these different avenues to drive traffic to your message or product or service. Now, which one works the best? That's something you need to figure out. A lot of you are losing huge amounts of money on Google search. Some of you are losing money on YouTube. It, it just depends. Some of you are killing on Facebook, TikTok. You need to find out where your lowest cost per lead. Okay, that is the key here on traffic. Okay, yeah, you can get like I run some traffic for some cancellation companies, timeshare cancellation, and their Facebook leads twelve dollars compared to their Google leads, which are forty. Now the quality might be a little different. That's just something you have to figure out. So what you do is traffic. Everything starts with traffic. Now, um, with that traffic year and your message, you need to have some type of offer. It's important that you offer something. If you don't offer anything, they're just not going to take action. Okay. Now, once you have that, you're going to drive your traffic to a landing page. Landing page has your headline. Okay. Simple sub headline or message. I'll just put this and then you need to have some type of form fill or some type of call to action. Whether you want them to pick up the phone and call you or fill out a form, doesn't matter. I like to have people fill out forms because now you have their contact information, but if they call, make sure your secretary or whoever's answering the phone is um, getting their information so that you can nurture them, okay? Once they fill out that form, you send them to a thank you page. That thank you page can have more information to keep them on your site, um, but mainly why you do this is for tracking purposes. That way I can count a lead and you have to understand something about Facebook, about Google, all their AI systems are extremely complicated and are getting better and better. If you can show Facebook, Google, YouTube, if you can show them what a conversion is to you, they will start to optimize their ad delivery to get you maximum amount of conversions. So when somebody fills out a form or calls, that's considered a conversion. Now, after that, you kick them over into a nurture campaign. Um, we have right up, if you're, if you do not have a CRM system, we have one for you that is amazing, but we use Red Up Nurture. You can text, you can email, you can do voicemail broadcasts. That's where it drops right into your voicemail. But then you're going to nurture your audience into a buyer where they give you your money. Got it? That's a funnel. That's as simple as it gets. So if you are a business, you do not have a funnel in place, you need to get one. It's simple. You run ads, you take them to a landing page that matches your ad. Then they fill out a form because they want to take advantage of your offer. You kick them over to a thank you page. Then you nurture them through emails, voicemails, text messaging, follow up, okay, things like that. Now there can be a lot that goes in between here, tracking pixels, coding. I mean, all that stuff can happen, but basically this is as simple as it gets. This is what an online marketing funnel is. If you have questions, let us know. Keep marketing.